All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, I got an awesome review for you today. And we're going to do it on the all-new Dualtron Thunder 3. And yes, they now make a Dualtron Thunder 3. It seems like just yesterday, right, guys, that the Dualtron Thunder 2 came out. And boy, does time fly. Now, they definitely upgraded the shit out of this electric scooter from the previous version. And from, the, from looking at it and doing a little research on it, man, it looks great. And they definitely upped the power on this scooter. I never rode it yet. I rode the Dualtron Thunder 2. I was very impressed, but I never rode the Dualtron Thunder 3. But I will be heading down to see my boys over at Mini Motors New York City. Shout out to Yuri and Javier. You guys are the best. And I'm going to see if I can test ride one. And then I can really give you guys my opinion on the Dualtron Thunder 3. Now, it's a badass looking scooter. And like I said, they upgraded the shit out of it. It's obviously got way more power. It's got 11,000 watts of power. Then it's got a double click function that adds like 60 amps to it. Because it's 50 amps stock. And then it adds a 60 amp jump when you double click the throttle. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's got an LG battery, 40 amp hour. Uh, it does supposedly 100 kilometers, which is about 65 miles an hour. I mean, it's badass. 55 plus, they say it'll go, but I think it'll definitely crack 60 miles an hour. It's got the nut braking system with the 160 millimeter rotors. Like I said, 40 amp hour battery, 72 volts. With that 40 amp hour battery, you could probably get ridiculous range on that bad boy. And like I said, I'm really looking forward to riding this scooter with the 72 volt 50 amp controller, like I said, and then when you double click the throttle, you get 60 amps of power. That's just insane. It really is insane. So I'm really looking forward to see how, seeing how this thing performs on the street. Because we all know the Dualtron Thunder 3, Dualtron Thunder 2, and the regular Dualtron Thunder are awesome street bikes. Alright guys, well street scooters, sorry. Alright guys, starting off with the first thing that they changed was the folding mechanism. Finally! They went with like the Vissette style folding mechanism. Because the folding mechanisms that came on all Dualtrons, I don't know, they creak, they move, the stem moves a lot. Even when it's super tight, you always, you know, if you got a single clamping system, you got a, got a double clamping system. So this looks very, very good. This looks like it's way better. It looks like the stem's going to be more rock solid. Um, and I'm looking forward to riding it, like I keep saying. I really, really am. So when I go down to Mini Motors New York City to get some work done on my Kabu, I'm definitely going to uh, try to test ride it. And as you guys could see, it's got a pin design, a folding, a folding button on the neck, and that's what releases the stem from going up and down, and then it's got like a latching system, which I really like, it's like the Vissette 10 Plus, like I said, and also, wow, this is like a first for Dualtron, besides the X, it's actually got headlights on this thing, it's got headlights, the headlights are pretty bright, I heard, I heard they're really bright, um, it's got a uh, steering damper, comes with a steering damper, uh, 100 kilometers an hour, you need a steering damper, dampener for sure, obviously, every Dualtron needs a steering damper, in my opinion anyway, I got the Dualtron Ultra too, and it definitely needed a steering damper, it was sketchy as shit at high speeds. And then they got, they upgraded to the EY4 display, which is definitely the best display on the market by far. I've seen it up close and personal on the Dualtron X Limited, and um, it's bright as fuck. You could see it during the day. Um, so, and it's got a lot of functions on it too, and there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, you could see if the engines are heating up. It's just an awesome, awesome display, the EY4. And then it's got the brick on the left-hand side for the Eco Turbo button, the blinkers and all that. And they, the stem is actually thicker as well. It's a thicker stem that lights up, just like all the Dualtrons do. But yes, it's definitely a thicker stem. And like I said, they got the bright headlights on the front and a horn. So it's pretty much got everything, this Dualtron Thunder 3. I mean, compared to the Dualtron Thunder 2, which was a definitely an upgrade from the regular Dualtron Thunder, um, the Dualtron Thunder 3, though, took it to another level. Absolutely took it to another level. I mean, I don't know. I don't really like the way the headlights look, in a way, because I'm not used to seeing Dualtrons with headlights like that. Um, but it does have lights, too, on the deck. 
obviously on the sides of the deck, and then it's got like headlights on the front of the deck, like all Dualtrons do. But I'm curious to see for myself how bright those headlights really are, just because I heard that they're really, really bright and you don't need an additional headlight. And then, guys, it's waterproof IPX5. Now, I would never ride any fucking electric scooter in the rain, but this is IPX5, which is a pretty high um, uh, water-resistant rating because it's not waterproof, it's water-resistant. And the, um, the display is IPX7, and that's supposed to be really, really um, waterproof. And... Like I said, though, I would never take my electric scooter out in the rain because anything, and I mean anything, could happen. So that display is definitely awesome. And I mean, just look at the scooter. It's it's really, really nice. I mean, it looks just like the Dualtron Thunder 2 in a way. It's got the kick plate like the Dualtron Thunder 2. And like I said before, it's got the 160 millimeter rotors with nut brakes. Um, nut brakes are my favorite. They're great. They're better than the Zoom brakes. Absolutely better than the Zoom brakes. It's got all the RGB, RGB on the swing arms. Um, it's got brake lights on the kick plate. I just don't like the um, the fender guard in the back, the mud flap on the back, because it bounces up and down and makes a lot of noise. I took that shit right off of my Dualtron Ultra 2 as soon as I got it, because it was just bouncing up and down and making noises and shit, and I just don't like the way it looks. But I don't know what you could replace this one with, because if you took it off, it probably would look a little weird. Then it's got the rubber deck, and that's the one thing that I love. I love the rubber deck, like I have on my uh, Cobble Wolf Warrior. The rubber deck is the way to go. It's easy to clean. It looks so much better. It looks more 21st century. Um, they're starting to come out with rubber decks now for all the Dualtrons, and I think it's so much better than the grip tape. Supposedly, you get better grip with the grip tape, but nah. I like the the uh, rubber, the silicone mat. It's a silicone mat. And then it folds up into a nice little package as well. I mean, it's definitely not a light scooter. I think it's like 100 pounds, 103 pounds or something like that. So it's definitely not that light. But um, it does fold up into a nice little package. You could definitely fit it into a uh, SUV or some kind of car with a hatchback or something like that. Uh, so it's definitely portable. It's not like my Kabu. Oh my God, you fold that fucking thing up and it grows 10 inches. It's unbelievable. But beautiful looking scooter. Really like it. Um, I wanted to see how the uh, lights look too when they're all uh, lit up because Dualtrons look great. The lights are just awesome on Dualtrons. They have the best RGB. But I mean, the Dualtron Thunder 3 though has a lot of RGB. Like my Dualtron Ultra 2, I think has the perfect amount of RGB. I don't like too much RGB. I think it looks a little clownish. But guys, let me know what you think about the Dualtron Thunder 3. I'm sorry I don't have more information on the Dualtron Thunder 3. And I know that I never rode the Dualtron Thunder 3 yet, but... I'm going to be, because like I said, I got to go down to Mini Motors uh, in a couple of weeks, see my boy Yuri and Javier, and uh, I hope to ride the Dualtron Thunder 3, because it's fucking probably super fast. I mean, the Dualtron Thunder 2 is super fast, but this is probably way faster with that double-click feature, but I digress. So guys, let me know what you think about the Dualtron Thunder 3. Mikey from the Electric Scooter Guy. Peace out.